Well, welcome back. So today I'm out here in my garden, as you can see, and uh, I just watched a video by uh, Catfish Edge. He was trying to use one of those worm grunting sticks to get worms to come up out of the ground, and uh, never tried one of those, but I have a different way uh, that I get worms. Uh, kind of the same concept, but a little simpler, and you don't have to buy anything. Uh, if you just have a shovel like that one, that's all you need, and some moist ground. So we just had a heavy rain last night, and it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon the next day, and the uh, ground here in my garden is not muddy, but it's it's moist. And uh, I'll show you how, I, how you can get some worms for free. Uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. So uh, really you can just pick anywhere. This this area here is where I walk, so this is kind of compacted, but this this uh, stuff uh, down here where the beans are growing, this is all, was tilled earlier, so it's softer. So um, basically, I think I'm gonna start, I don't wanna ruin any of these plants here. I'm just going to start right here. All you do is just stab this spade in the ground pretty far. And then you're just going to take your shovel and just start wiggling it back and forth at a pretty quick pace like this. And uh, oh, there's one already. Look at him. They just start coming right out of the ground. Over there. Oh, there's some more right here. That's a nice one. And usually within you know, like a, a foot or two of the shovel, they'll start coming out. And yeah, these aren't giant worms, but they'll work good for catching bluegill and sunfish. I'm gonna let these little ones be these little tiny ones. There's the one. There's one over here. That's a good one. And you can do this as long as you want in one spot until they stop coming up. There's a lot coming up here in this spot. But again, this only works if the soil is moist or if it's covered up by something like leaf litter. I put grass clippings on the ground in my garden here so it keeps the soil moist most of the year. Let's move down a little bit. Try another spot here. <clears throat> Sorry if the camera's shaking all over the place kind of holding it. All right, let's see what comes up down here. You want to stab it in pretty deep, or as deep as you can, at least. Yeah. All right, let's see what comes out. We're about three feet down the row from where I was before. Oh, there's one over there. Big one. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is a nice one. There's one coming out right there. See him just crawling right out of his hole. And it's the vibration in the ground that they don't like. Oh, there's one right by my shoe. If the ground is hard and dry, this will not work. I've tried it in the dead of summer in different parts of my yard. Um, 
and I think in those dry areas those worms are down so deep that these vibrations don't even get to them. I just picked up another one while I was talking. Oh, there's a good one. Right there. Look at that guy. That's a nice one. So anyway, I've been out here probably a total of five minutes on all, let's see the video, five minutes, 30 seconds on the video. And, you know, I've got a, you know, a nice uh, bunch of worms to go fishing with if I need to. Oh, there's another one coming out. Coming out. So if you've got some moist ground and a shovel and recent rain, just go out and get yourself some free worms really quick, really easy. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one.